All right, good morning, everyone. All right. Uh, thank you for our worship team and also the prayer, uh, Priska, and thank you for everyone's uh, participating in this uh, special event. It's a seasonal event. It is called the Good Friday service and also the uh, communion uh, service too. Well, I'm a little bit sick, uh, but I'll do my, uh, the best. Uh, today, the topic, uh, what I prepared, that uh, it's been a while actually, um, what would be a good topic for each one of us here? And, you know, in order to prepare the sermon, especially chapel, the message, uh, I've been praying and uh, select the, the best uh, keyword uh, for each one of us here. Now, while reading the book of John, I was quite inspired by the Holy Spirit that faith, we have to have, um, you know, any days and always 365 days, what uh, the most significant, uh, the meaning of the um, uh, Easter, even the Passion Week and Palm Sunday, you know, the seasonal programs. Some of you guys uh, have some question about the community service. May I join without a baptism ceremony? Uh, well, once again, this is not church oriented, but uh, we like to provide this educational Christian, uh, the programs that you could encounter, at least expose the, about the Christian environment and the program, be aware about uh, this you know, the program, and uh, so that you can join and prepare for the next uh, more meaningful, faithful <coughs> journey with your parents and your, even your teachers too. So I hope that this uh, great uh, moment will be a turning point for each one of us here. My topic is this one, Believing Without Seeing. Well, since I select the, um, changed my major from theology to business, from business to education, which is the higher education, my perspectives went through really a lot of difficulties. 오늘 설교 부분에 조금 어려운 부분이 있을 텐데 조금 여러분 이해하시고 들었으면 좋겠습니다. 초등학교 학생들은. 저는 처음에 신학을 했었어요. 신학을 10년을 공부하고, 그다음에 경영학으로 2년 반 공부하고, 그리고선 교육학으로 10년을 공부를 했습니다. Uh, whenever I changed my major, what I found out that each major has unique perspectives. For example, theology, which is a 신학, requires the truth, which means the faith. You know, any question, you got to go to the uh, Bible, then you could get the, the answer from the Bible. There's one perspective. Bible is the main resource we have to believe and follow. However, I changed, switched it from theology to business major. Interesting is this one. Everything's what? Evidence, which means the data. I need data. You need data to prove this is correct or not. So I was seriously like really, really struggling with their perspective. Because I got used to just focus on the Bible, but the world requires about multiple perspectives. Even I need to prove the certain information, data, evidence to say this is right, this is wrong. And even they switched it from business to the uh, education, higher education. Everything's go by data, st statistically. The significant, you know, the meanings or data, something, something like that. So this is the uh, huge turning point in terms of my education career. Show me the evidence. My son, all the times, desperate to play, go out Monday, the PE class. Oh, is it rainy or not? He checking the weather forecasting weekend, actually. Oh, it's rainy. <laughs> Oh, is it snowing? Something like that. I'm pretty sure P is the one of the best programs for you. And it's such a time that you could feel more a sense of community and release your stress. Even the, uh, according to the education, the data, if you are good at enjoy your P classes, then it may motivate your academic achievement, even performance. Definitely P class, it is important. So, you guys check the weekly for the weather forecasting. You could say that, uh, Mr. Jim, Mr. Park, or your friends, that, okay, today, absolutely, we could go outside. However, today is a yellow dust is coming from outside. So, we cannot go because it's the what? Interim month, I may check weather forecasting. 
Why? Because of evidence. We could say we could have a P outside or even field trip too. Every season is typhoon, Korea Peninsula we do have. About between June and August or even late September, you know, the, this one, the path of the typhoon, scientists, even the, uh, a lot of uh, governments really sensitive with this issue. And when they found out raising the, uh, any typhoon from southern area, then what? They start to what? Calculate. It is the evidence that we need to be aware and even let people know as a notification, be what? Cautious, careful. Look at the, uh, this one, this is Korean, but each single minute, even hour, they calculate and be what? Cautious, careful. What? By what? Evidence. Evidence. SAT preparation, college preparation. This is one of the samples we use this one. If you join the uh, summer winter school time, your teachers, you know, including myself, we're trying to organize, analyze, then what would be good your scores that we could predict or suggest your colleges, even majors, even finance scholarship opportunities. That's why we strong to encourage you guys to join summer winter mock test. Why? We need the data. Enormous data or a lot of substantial data we need to calculate or at least advise your college prep. Why? Evidence. Your scores, evidence. Your purpose, evidence. Unfortunately, or fortunately, we, have, we as Christians facing quite different questions. Why? Because the Bible requires us to have faith, which is what? Not seeing, but believing. Even though we cannot see, we don't have the evidence, no matter what, we need to believe in the Bible what the Bible said to us. That's why it is extremely difficult to say and follow. <laughs> However, a lot of secular students and people, maybe non-believers, what they said that, if you have faith, which is a believing without seeing, is what? Such a stupid. It is what? Blind following. You're gonna go die. And you're gonna face a lot of difficulties. Why? You don't have faith. You don't have data, evidence. How do you believe in God? How do you believe in Holy Spirit? How do you believe in even faith? We cannot touch evolution. Even the, a lot of scientific evidences, a lot of scientists, the, you know, proof even addressed. We as a Christians, every single moment, we are in this spot. It is called either doubt or belief. You may have doubt about a lot of Bible words. Even the, uh, some lot of information, what Christian school, even our school address, even encourage you guys to remember and learn. On the other hand, you want to believe somehow you're not allowed or you're not. It is not easy to believe what I want, even what the Bible mentioned. That. This internal struggling, emotion, even fact, 2,000 years ago, Jesus' time, Many people had to. Jesus' time, at the time, is about Roman Empire. They occupied the entire world. Can you see this one? It's a northern one. It's a British. I love history, by the way. So I would like to encourage you guys reading a lot of history books. You know, even the European, even Asian, even African, even the Greek. But look at this one. The Roman Empire, this is the map that they cover, even dominant, even they rule over the world. The arrow mentioned about what? Israel. Israel is really a tiny country, a small country. However, the geographic benefits is Middle East countries. Roman Empire occupied and colonized, and then what? Is what? Get some taxes, or at least expanded their power to control the world. In this context situation, people of Israel, they want half freedom back from the Roman Empire. We need the king who has what? The power. We need the king who needs to pre provide our food and, and what we want all the times. They completely lost faith in God and they completely lost 
even hope for the future. In this situation, God came to the earth. God came to the earth as a human being, as a body. It is called Jesus Christ. And Jesus, he starts to share the gospel during about three years and a half. Book of John, I would like to provide some couple of illustrations. What he did as a as an incredible leader of Israel. What he did perform is this one, turning water into wine. Wine is the probably common, probably juice or water 2,000 years ago. Why? Water is not clean. There is no any jongsugi, which is the filtering, the one. So trying to wine, uh, drink, drink wine, he joined the party, and the first miracle he performed is what? Turning water into, I'm sorry, water into you know, wine. So a lot of people are really shocked. What? We gave him water, but we got get back what? What is it? It's wine, which is like, is a uh, pre the grape juice, something like that. So they start to consider Jesus as not just ordinary person, as what extraordinary person or someone person who has what miracles, power, or magician. They consider that. Second incredible miracle is this one. John chapter 6, verse 1 to 14. Jesus feeds the 5,000. Can you believe? 5,000 people with feeding them with only two fish and five breads. If I said, okay, I have two fish and five breads, I will feed you today. Then can you believe? You're going to consider me as a crazy person. And even the, the, a lot of the disciples, of Jesus, they start to doubt about what Jesus mentioned. I will feed them, 5,000. Are you serious? And he prayed. He lifted up the food to God and it will be happened. What is it? Feeding 5,000 people. It's amazing history. Amazing miracles Jesus made. And then right after this miracle, they sing in counting this one. All Israel people, 5,000, more than, more than 5,000 people, they start to proclaim that. Jesus is our king, and king, and king. Suddenly, Jesus in this spot, he went to isolated place, which is a quiet place to pray. Not show up, not even exaggerate or say that, I do have another power to show you more. He didn't say that. He went to the prayer place, and the what? He was walking on the water. John chapter 6, verse 16, 21. And everyone, all disciples on the boat, they watched. Someone goes, even the, you know, pre late night, even the dawn, every time. He was walking on the water in the heavy rain, huge wave. They were about to die. But Jesus walking on the water and gave them a peace. And Jesus' disciples, they start to believe. Jesus is not an ordinary person. So, we're trying to stick to him and get some power from him, become some political power. One day, we're going to our country back from Roman Empire. Why? We have Jesus. Magician. Powerful person. And Jesus, he showed this amazing miracle. Another one is this one. He raised uh, Lazarus from the dead. According to uh, the Bible, the theologian would mention that Lazarus and his uh, sisters, Mary, and they have a good relationship with Jesus. As they grew up in the same hometown, and even Jesus, he want to meet Lazarus. He was sick. However, he was late. He died. He finished, they finished about funeral service. Guess what? What Jesus said. Coming from the death, which is the, uh, the, even the, the tomb area, Huh? Look at this one. It was what? It's the unwrapping a bandage. Can you imagine? It's a mummy, the miraga, boom, 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 jump, jump, jump. And then what? Start to uh, unwrapping a bandage and then say some words to the people. I'm pretty sure you and I, we got really strict and scared. Really freaked out this one. What? what? Who is it, Jesus? And then they start to talk about this one. Jesus is the Messiah. The Messiah is what? 
It, it is Kong. Is a he comes to us as what the king saved from the powerful country, which is Rome Empire. The pictures you can see that this is a Passover, which is the Yuletide season. According to history, what they said about 2.1 million people Israelites are gathering together, and they worshiping the welcoming Jesus as the Messiah King with this confession. It is called Hosanna, Hosanna. In Greek, it's Hebrew, Hosanna. That's meaning was what? Save us, save us, please, save us from suffering, save us from fame. I'm sorry, the suffering and the pain. Save us from all the what? Colonization of Roman Empire. You're the one who could save us. We praise Hosanna, Hosanna. And people, disciples of Jesus, is the Avengers, the twelve people, they gathering together. Why? They have a Messiah. They have the King of Israel. However, Jesus, he start to talk about his death. They talk about one day I'm gonna to go to heaven. I like to focus on. I want you guys to focus on the following verses, and as a conversation between Jesus and his disciples. John 14 verse 1 to 4. Do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If there were not so. But I told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you be, to be with me so that, uh, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I'm going. Once again, what Jesus said, you know the way where I'm going. And the reaction from one of the disciples, his name is Thomas, what he said, Lord, we don't know where you're going. So how can we know the way? And Jesus responds to Thomas, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to me, the Father, except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. I don't think Jesus replied this message with happiness or very exciting mind. Probably he feel frustrated. What? I told you this one about three, more than three years. I trained you, I shared the Bible and all the word of God. But you keep asking somehow elementary, childish is a level of questions about God, about faith. And none of the person Philip said, Lord, interesting this one, show us the Father. And that will be enough for us. That means what? Show me the evidence. Who God is. Then I will believe in God and you as the Messiah. Jesus answered. Don't you know me, Philip? Even after I have been among you such a long time, more than three years. Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Show me the evidence. How dare you say that? I'm pretty sure Jesus was, his voice tone, very upset. Very upset. Really mad. And what he uh, finished this message with this verse. Don't you believe that I am in the Father? That the Father is in me. The words that I say to you, I don't speak on my own authority. Rather, it is the Father living in me. Who is doing his work? This is the one. This message come to the conclusion. It is called Trinity. God, He has multiple characteristics. First one is Son of Jesus Christ, Son of God. I'm sorry, Son of God. And also what? Father, our God, and Holy Spirit. Which being with Jesus, you now, you now, you go with what? God and Holy Spirit. However, disciples of Jesus, they didn't understand. They didn't completely, they got lost. And what happened? They trade, betrayed, run away, 
and denied even Jesus three times. Only one person, apostle, I mean, the disciple John. This is a crucifixion and suffering moment. And Jesus, after this moment, three days, what happened? Jesus was alive. And he came to the disciples, their room, and where they gathered together. And then what he said that here, Jesus told him, because you haven't seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. What the Bible said is this one, is the, uh, why watching this one? We, once again, today, 2,000 years later, we are now in spots, the situation, whether you believe or doubt. And today's message, what Bible mentioned, because you haven't seen me, you have, you have believed, blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. 안 보고도 믿는 그 믿음을 예수님께서는 오늘 우리에게 말씀하셨습니다. Today we like to we're gonna have a communion service. You may not feel that Jesus is not here, but Jesus is here. You don't know about Jesus. He probably understand about your suffering, difficult situations, and your your future dream. He knows. He knows your name. He knows my name. It is a season, a special day, we have to join, engage as spiritual, faithful commitment for everyone. Because God loves everyone. Let's have a communion service today. And then uh, let's read this one together, in one voice together, okay? One, two, three. For I receive from the Lord what I also pass on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he had betrayed, and took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. All right, let's pray. Jesus, we thank you for this moment. Thank you so much for, once again, your love, unconditional love. We could have faith in you. We deserve to die, but you save us, you forgive us, Lord. Today, we are about to take your body and blood. Cleanse my sin, our sins and encourage us to be renewed a new people, a new person. Lord, I would like to have a special commitment for your people and throughout my education, our educations, and also the teachers. They would like to be used by your, I mean, as your instruments, future leaders and Christian workers and great father and mother in their home. Lord, uh, please, Bless upon each one of us while taking this special moment and speak to us how much you love me and speak to us. We like to have, we want to have, you have a strong faith in me. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.